Moses was dead, Joshua knew God had now chosen him to lead the Israelites. Before Joshua prepared his army, he had to prepare himself. God promised Joshua victory and prosperity in the promised land if the people would always obey God's word. The Israelites promised to follow Joshua and always obey God's word. Wisely, the new leader sent spies into Canaan to study the defenses of the great city of Jericho. Israel's first battle would be fought there. Somebody told the king of Jericho there were spies in town. He sent his soldiers to find them. The search began at Rahab's house, where the men were staying. The soldiers banged roughly on her door. Quickly, Rahab hid the men under some flax. When the soldiers left, Rahab sent a scarlet cord to lower the men down safely outside the city wall. Why did she help the spies? Because she knew God was with them. She wanted God to spare her life. The spies promised to save Rahab and her family. Before reaching Jericho, the Israelites had to cross the Jordan River into Canaan, the promised land, but there was no bridge. How would the people cross? God told Joshua the priests should lead the soldiers and the people, carrying the ark which had the Ten Commandments. When the priests' feet touched the river's edge, God did a miracle. God made a dry path through the water. After all the people had crossed safely, they placed 12 big stones in the riverbed and another 12 stones on Canaan's riverbank. These were reminders to help the people teach their children about God's great power and love. Jericho had strong, thick walls. As Joshua planned to attack, God sent the captain of his army from heaven to remind Israel's new leader that God wins the battle for his people. God told Joshua how to attack Jericho. It was a very strange plan. God's people had to march around the city once a day for six days and seven times on the seventh day. Then they were to blow the trumpets and shout and the city walls would fall down flat. Joshua and his army did just as God had commanded. Perhaps the people in Jericho laughed at them, but after the seventh march on the seventh day, the priests blew the ram's horn, and just as God had promised, the great walls of Jericho crumbled. Only Rahab's house in the wall was safe. She had left the scarlet cord hanging from the window. Quickly, Joshua's men rescued Rahab and her family. Then Jericho was destroyed, as God commanded. Solemnly, Joshua dedicated Jericho's gold, silver, and treasures to God's service. Then he placed a curse upon anyone who would rebuild the wicked city. Soon, everybody in Canaan heard how Joshua defeated Jericho. They knew God was with his people. God was with his people and he is also with you. If there's anything that seems too hard to do, just talk to God about it. He will give you a solution. Let's pray. Dear God, just as Joshua defeated Jericho, we will also be able to defeat any circumstance or problem in our lives with your help. Thank you for always being with us. We value your presence so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.